This video is for business leaders who want a super simple, fast principle for prioritizing tasks. Do you ever feel like there's nowhere near enough time in a day, week, or month to get everything done? Me too. I think it's sort of a universal thing and why it's especially important that we prioritize tasks as leaders effectively. So in this video, I'll show you a simple way of sorting, a simple sorting strategy you can use to make better decisions, sort your to-do lists, and solve problems more effectively. Watch to the end for bonus material on how you can use this process or integrate brainstorming into this process that will help you discover the items on your list that may be missing and then you hadn't even thought of before, before doing this process. So it has a sort of a dual function if you use it right. And finally, a recommended video on some of the science behind why this technique works so damn well. So for most of human history, comparing things was a good thing. It actually just helped us survive. It was easier to catch the or hunt the gazelle or the animal that was moving slower than the rest because humans don't run all that fast compared to a lot of animals. So it was easier to recognize the slower animal compared to the faster animal or animals. So that's one example. Another one would be a piece of fruit. Um, the amount of calories in a piece of fruit are dependent on things like the sugar content and its size, right? Well, so we picked the larger fruit and the riper fruit or the fruit that smells the sweetest because that has more calories. The more calories we have, the more likely we're going to live till our next meal. That was super important for most of our history as human beings up until the last century or so. So here's the thing. These days, everybody is completely crazy about and in love with numbers, and they think that's the best way to compare things. Well, Nobel Prize winner Daniel Kahneman disagrees with that position, at least in certain conditions, and that's the conditions we're talking about today. So because we are much better at comparing two things to one another, um, Rather than to give them a numerical rating, say a scale from one to 10, and then look at the numbers and compare them, we're still comparing. We could just eliminate that numerical arbitrary assignment and actually be even more accurate. Now, this goes beyond the ability to use more than two items on a list. We're only comparing two items at a time, but we can do this in such a way that the list can be of any length. It's very effective and you'll see in a minute how that works. So besides the fact that it's actually an easier and we're actually better at making that judgment, these relative judgments are faster and more intuitive for us as human beings, because that's the way our brains have evolved and how they normally have worked in all of history until recently. And especially on things that are hard to measure, like urgency or the importance of something or the impact something is going to have in your business. Do you give it an impact number? And if you do, you're still going back to the same thing. One has a higher impact number. We would just say it's more impactful. It's more important. It's more urgent and skip the numbers altogether when comparing any two items to one another. We can leverage that in a way that is very effective and, again, takes advantage of our natural evolutionary superior judgment to simply see something as more or less compared to another thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I invented the simple strategy to prioritize any list based on Kahneman's insight, and it's really simple to use. So give me one second here and I will bring up the screen share and start that process. So here I am in the corner now. Hello. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to compare these items you see on the screen now. So all we do is we start with the bottom two items on the list. So these two items here and we compare them one to the other, as I've already described. So which one is more important for me at this time to create an entry-level program thank you page 
or to outreach to former one-to-ones, that's people I've spoken with before on one-to-ones, um, for building my contact list or reinvigorating that con contact list since it's been a long time for a lot of them. In this case, because this is the more important task, it stays where it is. Now, let me reverse this list so you can see how that would work if we changed it, right? So of these two tasks, if they were in this order instead, well, creating the thank you page is, oh, I was actually wrong there. Let me do that again. So creating the thank you page is actually more important than outreaching the former. Mm. We're going to lie and say it is just for the purpose of this illustration. So creating the thank you page is more important than reaching out because re uh, reaching out is just not a priority right now. I need the thank you page for them to land on. So then we compare these two tasks. Since this is the most important of these two, we now move up and compare what we just moved up. The, the second from the bottom and the third from the bottom, and we compare those to one another. In this case, add remaining copy to neurocognitive leadership and design modules and units versus create a thank you page. Well, in this case, actually the working on the modules and units is more important. So in this case, this item stays where it is. So the more important item rises to the top. That's why I've got this funky scale here. This is what is important rises to the top. So it's like a, an elevation scale rather than a way scale. Okay, so that stays where it is. Now we compare this to this. You kind of get the, the process here, right? It is very simple. So add remaining NCLND modules and add images to NCLND pages. Well, in this case, I think that the adding the images is more important because I haven't added any yet. Whereas a large portion of this is done and they are actually due at the same time. It's one page. So in this case, I want to switch gears because I'm kind of bored with doing the copywriting to keep me motivated equal priority task, I'll do the one that's going to keep me more engaged. So that's why that stays there. So now we compare this item, which is the highest priority that has risen to be the top priority so far on this list. And we compare it to this one, create paid mastermind landing page. Again, in this case, the create uh, paid mastermind landing page is actually more important than creating the neurocognitive leadership and design page or the adding the images into here. This page is already done. This page has not yet been created. So this is the priority task when we compare these two. Now, when we compare the create the landing page, the, the mastermind landing page to making a teleprompter. So instead of always looking away, instead of looking down here or down here, but looking straight at you to do all or most of what I'm doing now, that is important, but it's not as important as me putting out content that has value, even if I have to look away a lot more. So in this case, this item, this one here, rises up and becomes second from top because it's more important to create this page than it is to finish making my teleprompter. So of these last two tasks, the top two tasks, I then only have to compare those two to realize which task is the most important of all. And of these two tasks, creating that landing page or doing the genius link stuff, mm, sorry, but the genius link that I'm just getting into, it's a product that shortens links and adds some other functionality to your link building or you're using uh, links for uh, affiliate links and stuff. It's just not as important as this. Now, what's really the issue here and what's exciting is we are already at the bonus content. So thank you for watching this far. Now, doing the process that I just did with this actual list, it's longer. I have more of it down here, but I wanted to limit the time in the video. By sorting all these things out, here's the part that makes it the, the technique that I discovered as I did this with this exact list. And that was that as I did this, I, as I moved items up the list, I started to recognize a pattern. 
as a common pattern or common themes at the things that started to rise higher and higher on this list when I prioritized it. And that is the paid mastermind thing. So this is my top priority product right now. And what this actually produced is it was like, none of these are really the highest leverage or top priority thing. So now I have an entirely, uh, an extra list, another list, which I created, I brainstormed out of realizing that in fact, doing stuff that serves the mastermind and doing that is more important than all those other tasks combined. So then I wrote another list on top, and this is the technique that I'm talking about. As you're doing this, if you start to recognize a theme with the things that are rising higher and higher on your list, what the top part portion of your list centers around thematically or in terms of what, what's important in it, then you need to think about what is common here and is there anything missing on my list? And in fact, on my list, technically, you could say all of this was missing. It hadn't even occurred to me that all of this was about moving the paid mastermind to the top of my priorities. So then I've already done this, this um, sorting. So we don't have to go over that same process, which you already know. And essentially things moved up and off. I realized that I didn't actually use the word mastermind and I didn't use the, the word leadership in my lead gifts or downloadables or lead magnets, whatever you want to call them. So that led to this one here, which is near the very top of the list. And it's reframe every lead gift into leadership gifts. So this is what I've recognized is that none of my gifts, as much as they're mostly focused on tools to help leaders make better decisions, to be more effective, to create intentional culture. It's not like the intentional culture leadership guide. And it should be because that's my list. So by doing this one, it's super high. This one here is super high priority. And the reason it is so high priority is because I already have six lead gifts, which are ready to go with small changes in the wording and framing. We'll then include the word leadership or mastermind in them which is what my top priority regarding product release is right now. So that's super high leverage with very little time for me to do all six will take less than a day and maybe less than a few hours. The next one is more important even than doing these is shooting the video you are watching now. Shoot screen capture video of decision balance. And here we go again, balance. So you take two pro you take two items on your list you decide which has the high the higher priority and it rises that is the balance you're comparing only two things at a time to take advantage of that evolutionarily built in genius and instant ability to compare two things and decide which is most important of two not of all of them but since you've sorted it all the way through the list you've actually only ever compared two items at once. So you're getting that, you're getting the advantage of our evolution and how we better judge things and yet can use this on a list of multiple items. And then the final one was create leadership prioritization lead gift. These two are actually about equal because this lead gift will be offered in this video or as the downloadable, the lead gift along with this video in the description. It didn't matter really which one I did. I had to do both of these to put out this video and have that product available. But in fact, this was technically the higher priority because I wanted to have it done before I shot it. Doesn't matter, they're both getting done now. So that's really it for all of this. I'm just going to stop the share and get on to the next important step here. And that is to stop the sharing. So um, to roll this all the way out, um, the, uh, the priority principles primer is what I'm calling this lead gift. Uh, you can download that. It's at the top of the description just below the title. So please download that to summarize what we've talked about today and how you can apply this, this same technique effectively to your business. 
and you can use this you can use this reprioritization this updating of your list even daily because it's really quick or weekly or whatever fits your business cycle and the changing conditions it makes dynamic decision making or frequent decision making and prioritization easy to do because let's face it the conditions can change from day to day they do for me i suspect they do for you too so given that please download that gift as described and i will put a link right here for the recommended video which is a deeper dive into why the science behind why comparison is so much more powerful and natural and accurate for we human beings to do with the brain we evolved with. And that would be it for Crush It Club 294, How to Prioritize Tasks. My name is Tim B. Green. Bye for now.